Now, we will discuss the relation of the center of mass and the linear momentum of the system. For a system of particle, we can define the velocity of the center of mass as follows. Velocity of the center of mass we see m is equal to the derivative of the position vector of the center of mass and is equal to 1 over m of time the summation of m i d r i by dt. Here again, we assume that the total mass of the system is a constant. So, we have that this dr by dt is the velocity of each particle in the system. So we have that this is equal to the 1 over m summation of m i v i. And MIVI is a momentum of each particle. Okay. So we have that this equal to the one over M of the summation of the PI summation the total momentum of the system so if we rearrange this a little bit so we have M V C M is equal to the summation of PI or we can write it as the p total, the total momentum of the, state of the system. Note again that in this calculation, we assume that m is a constant. This means that no particle enter or leave the system. So the total mass of the system is a constant. So we can see that the mathematical expression of the total momentum of the system is the total mass times the velocity of the center of mass. This is very similar to the expression for the momentum of each particle. But here we replace the mass to the uh, total mass and the velocity is the velocity of the center of mass. So, the center of mass in the sense of the momentum, the center of mass has a similar property of uh, to the single particle in the sense that the total mass of the system times the velocity of a single point that is the center of mass is equal to the total momentum of the system. Similarly, we can define the acceleration of the center of mass acceleration of the center of mass.
acceleration of the center of mass is equal to a c m is equal to the derivative of v c m with respect to time <coughs> and is equal to the one over m of the summation over i of m i d v i by d t and is equal to the summation uh, 1 over m times the summation of m i a i okay but this m i a i is the total force of uh, total force exert to the system because if m i a i is a force exert on each particle so the summation of m i a i is equal to the total force and on the system so if we move this m to the left of the equation we will have that m a c m is equal to the summation m i a i or we can say that this is a summation of f i <coughs> this term summation of f i is the total force uh, act on acting on the system but it also the total force that exert on each particle i mean this m i a i is the force on each particle and you sum this m i a i term for all particle and we call it the total force the point is that this term m i a i has two components in the sense that the force can be the internal force the internal internal force and can also be the external force the external force the internal force means that it is the force between the particle. It is the force between the particle. And the external force is a force from somewhere else outside the system. So we have that this term, we can write this as the summation of the internal force plus the summation of the external force okay now it's come to the important point that we can show that we can show that the summation of the internal force is equal to zero <coughs> this is simple the internal force here is the force between the particle in the system so it means that if we have a particle i and and the particle j The internal force is the force between these two particles. You, if you have more than two particles, it's the force between each pair of particles. Okay, so if for example, if we look at the ij pair, the internal force for this pair is the force
F J I this is the internal force for the particle I but we know from the third law the Newton third law that we must have the action reaction pair it means that we must have the force I J on the particle J and the important relation is that F I J is equal to the minus of F J I this is the third law okay so it means that when you sum this term F internal you will sum this kind of pair of the forces between two particles and the force of this pair are equal in magnitude but have the opposite sign so when you sum this pair it will become zero and every pair when you sum it it will become zero so it means that when you sum up every pair of the internal force it will become zero so it means that the total force on the system is the external force only so we have the total force the total force on the system is the sum of the external force only which equal to m a c m <coughs> so when we look at the system of particle and we know that there is the external force exert on the system this total external force will equal to the total mass of the system times the acceleration of the center of mass so you can see that we can use the center of mass to represent the motion of the system yeah, this is the second law for the system of particle the total external force is equal to the total mass of the system times the acceleration of the center of mass <coughs>